What's up guys, it's your boy LAJ, back at it again. So, what do you guys think? Great series or nah? So, yo, the Dodgers just swept those bitch ass, motherfucking cheating ass Cardinals. Uh, and what an incredible performance from Monday through Wednesday. Man, that was a great, great series. It's been a while since I see the Dodgers dominate uh, an entire series like they, they did against the Cardinals. It seems almost as though they were out to legit kill them. So let's get into what happened this series. Runner goes, pitch low, the throw! Kicks into the outfield, Gamble will stay at the bag. The problem for Council here is watch. Hobby, he's going to probably say that he obstructed him when he tagged him without the ball. But yeah, there's no. You got to go. You got to go to third. Yeah. There's no. There's no. So retard alert, real quick. Uh oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. There's somebody out there. There's a couple of people out there, supposedly towns that are saying that. The Mets are actually a threat to the Dodgers. I'll post that link out there. Here's a, here's a picture so you guys can see it. Let's be real. Let's be honest. The Dodgers bone the Cardinals. And, man, you can see the lack of confidence in the ninth inning going into the last two. Even, even with two outs, you could tell the Cardinals weren't confident they were going to win the game. And the crazy thing about this is uh, post-game interview, Dave Roberts noted that the Dodgers are going to always find a way to win. And uh, let's check out that, that post-game interview where he posted that and he talked about the expectations of the ninth inning. It just seems like every day there's somebody different that uh, you're, you're pouring Gatorade on. Um, but it's really good to see. I mean, it's, it's great from our ball club, a testament to their, their uh, desire, will to play 27 outs. It was almost like you expect this to happen. Yeah, yeah, and I think that it's it's uh, it's something that I think the other dugout feels it as well, and um, the crowd gets into it. We start feeling it. It seems like everyone in our lineup has been in that spot and has come through. So once you have that history and, and that feeling, that's tangible, and uh, we, we keep uh, showing it. It's real. Yeah. It would have been a surprise you if you had not come back. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we expect to win that game. So not only did the Dodgers perform well, but everybody, ev I mean everybody performed like exceedingly well. The pitching staff only allowed two runs in the entire three-game series. The Cardinals were coming into the series hot. They were on a streak. They were winning, and they thought they were going to beat the Dodgers because they had swept them at, at Bush Stadium. Uh -uh, nah, uh -uh. So the pitching staff only allowed two runs in the entire three games. They struck out 31, and that includes Yemi Garcia, Joe Kelly, and Kelly Jensen coming in to pitch out of the bullpen. The offense went 13 runs on 36 hits, so that was also key and telling. Um, I know we're fresh. We're fresh out of the front office, didn't do shit for us, and the bullpen is trash na 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 narrative. But let me play devil's advocate for a minute. Corey Seager, Cody Bellinger, Walker Buehler, Alex Verdugo, Julio Urias, Matt Beatty, Tony Gonsolin, Dustin May, Will Smith. Why did I mention these guys? Why, why did I bring up these guys? Well, simply because at one point or another, all of these guys were will We were all willing, including myself, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. We are all willing to deal with these guys for proven talent. But they are the reason why sometimes skipping on the best available player at that high cost is necessarily not not the answer and if you guys look at this these are the guys that are actually coming out of the farm or coming out of AAA and right off the bat performing and let me let me elaborate a little bit more on that on Monday Tony Gonsolin went six innings allowing two hits and he chopped down seven seven strikeouts wild stuff Dustin May five and two-thirds innings allowing one run and he himself Clap those ass cheeks seven times against the Cardinals. So pss, those two guys, Dustin May and Tony Gonsolin, put in work, work, and they're not just you know throwing fastballs and down the middle. And they only got one. They're not a one-trick pony. They got some heat. Where they're above 95. And if you include Walker Buehler into that bitch, damn, 
damn these kids oh man man uh here's the other one seager why did i mention seager well he's the reason he reached base and was was the game winning run on sunday towards the corner that's down it gets by Renfro. how fast can Corey seager run we're gonna find out throw is high dodgers win bellinger that motherfucker is the mvp you can't tell me different Motherfucking Pellinger is the MVP. Not only is he doing it offensively, but he's doing it defensively. First base, right field, center field. He does it all. For the most part, Julio Diaz himself has been a great spot starter. And he's also been great out of the bullpen. Nah, not so recently, but nonetheless, he picked up the slack for when players were injured. And Kelly Jensen wasn't doing good. He came in and closed out the game a couple of times. Matt Beattie. That guy's a stone-cold killer. You gotta walk off. He's batting over 300 in the month of August. And let's not forget Will Smith. Man, Will Smith. Walk off. Uh, uh, okay, so he's, he reached base uh, Wednesday, and he was eventually the game-winning run. So that in itself is the reason why giving up the farm and top prospects isn't necessarily always the right answer. So the Dodgers have a league-best 10 walk-offs, which includes a weekend where three rookies, which I just mentioned, walked it off. They already are tied with the 2017 Dodgers, who also had 10 walk-offs the entire season. And that's why I keep saying the 2019 Dodgers actually look a little bit better. So how about we look at those beautiful little walk-offs? Peterson turns on it. Out of all those, to me personally, the best one was Cody Bellinger. Why? Because I don't know if you guys remember, Johan Lopez struck out Jock Peterson earlier this season. And he pumped his chest and acted like he was a god and he was beating Dodgers. Cody Bellinger came in and said, knock your bitch ass out. Knocked him out. Took him deep. Pumped his chest as he was going up trotting. He was trotting up to first base while staring him in the eyes. And you already know Johan Lopez didn't have the balls to look him right back. He just put his head down and walked right off into the sunset so he put that bitch right on check and i'm pretty stoked about that one so that honestly was to me with a favorite one comment what do you guys think was your favorite walk off what do you guys think so i for one i'm glad we kept the farm system gavin lux and dj peters are the next ones coming up including cody hose which is a new guy that just, that they just that they just brought up and from what i'm hearing he's actually doing exceedingly well in single lay ball so they're probably considering and putting him in the arizona fall league and if they do man that kid's gonna take over third base after justin turner and this this front like this like infield is gonna be super stacked and dope as fuck and i for one am super excited about that so the Dodgers are at 77 and 40. Uh, they got a much needed day off today. Tomorrow they return to action and they face against the, the Diamondbacks and Robin, Robbie Ray. So honestly, the, we already know no one in the West is going to take this from the Dodgers and they're pretty much out of contention. I don't know why the Giants didn't sell. But nonetheless, you already know that the West, their only goal is to beat the Dodgers. That's their World Series. That's their championship that's their um, like they're feeling good feeling and honestly if you look at the this that just happened against the angels 
they went off against the Dodgers. But since they beat the Dodgers, they're only two and ten, and they're completely out of it. Now they're damn. How many are they? They're nine point five out of the wild card, and they haven't done shit. They're just wasting Mike Trout's talents. But hey, Mike Trout's the only one that could that could be blamed for that. He signed that extension, and that's on him. Wish he could have been a Dodger, but you never know. Maybe down the line they could trade for him. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think. I'm looking forward to hearing you guys and seeing what your thoughts are, what your favorite walk-off is, what your expectations are in the postseason. And so with that being said, I'm your boy LAJ. Hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned. It's only going to get better. And here we go.